it's that wonderful thing you're going to see these people meet. And there is a setup right at the beginning. I'm a private detective. I will find out for you. And then through the course, it is, is it there? Is it there? Is it there? Is it? Is it? And that kind of thriller. I'm in a bloody thriller, Graham. I'm so excited. <laughs> How are you doing today? Hello, Graham. I'm Noma from The Watcher. I'm doing good. It's <laughs> weird. It's like proper press thing. It's great. I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's such a pleasure to speak with you today. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you um, for yours so, as well. Of course, uh, the Watcher is based on like a truly wild story. I remember when it hit the internet. I was Did you read with that it. story? I did. did yeah. That? What were your thoughts when you first read the article behind the show? And, and when did you read it? When did you come across it? AF. <laughs> seriously you kind of go I don't understand how you would cope if you moved somewhere and you started getting letters like that you would need to find out who and how the hell um, and that's what's extraordinary about and but and what you've got to also remember Graham that the watcher that Ryan Murphy and Ian Brennan have written is a um, it, it's cut, it cut it, what they've written is a catapulted from that story the original story because I remember reading that when I was offered uh, this job and then I was like whoa I have no idea how, what that could be yes but then this imagination of storytelling comes out of that in Murphy world which is brilliant yeah, it's so exciting. And um, I've only seen a brief clip of your character, Theodora, but I can already tell she's going to be a highlight. I I love the little scene I got to see. So what is it about the case that makes her so dedicated to it, do you think? I think you're going to find that out quite soon when you do meet her properly. She kind of states a case quite early on. But her, f for me, what I feel is curiosity is her driving thing. It's, it's a little sense of nosiness but you can cover it with curiosity. Do you know what I mean? I think that's her drive in the world. And she kind of explains her journey in her life to get to this point to be a private detective. And it's that, I think those people who just can't quite settle down, I just need to know what else is going on. How can I sort this? How can I be part of making change in the world? How can I live to, um, uh, not an extreme space, but how can I be in the world? And with with Theodora, you you will find that out very soon when you first meet her because she literally lays it out for Dean going, this is my deal. This is my deal. <laughs> I'm very excited to find out. <laughs> yeah. And she and, looks fabulous as well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I was about to say, the orange gloves in that first scene. Did you, were you participating in the costuming at all? Or you was are, that just like completely? My joy, Graham, my joy in any job, I think enough costume designers know me now. So when I got to meet Lou and I got to meet Rudy, um, who were the designers on this one, I just love collaborating. And if it's a yes, if my body's going a full-blown yes to the character, then we, it's great. You can always have great conversations with your um, costume designer. And uh, if it's going a full-body no, the best designers are the ones who go, okay, let's talk about it. Let's meet and see where we are. And on this, it was just I was just like, yes, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, it was that. You know, I think what's so crazy about this story is like, you know, it goes viral. There's the, it changes the town, the real life town or whatever. And, you know, there's debate. Are the Brannocks, you know, doing this yeah. themselves? Are yeah. they sending themselves the letter? So through the course of the show, did you ever land on one side or do you kind of try to keep an open mind when it comes to these stories? I try and keep an open mind because what I was loving about the writing is we were kind of following it along as we were making it as well. It's like we were surprised along the way in certain spaces. And I love that there was Ian and, and, and Ryan having a sense of where it, it was going, but we not all getting the whole script right at the beginning, but like the first three, and then we follow the trail as it as it's moving along. It's that wonderful thing you're going to see these people meet. And there is a setup right at the beginning. I'm a private detective. I will find out for you. And then through the course it is is it there is it there is it there is it is it and that kind of thriller I'm in a bloody thriller Graham I'm so excited <laughs> I mean I'm so excited to see the rest of it let me just say but um, oh, that's glad. my time today oh. uh, thank you so much it was such a pleasure speaking with you lovely to meet you Graham thank you so much for your yeah. time bye you too. bye bye, bye.